up to this point, catheter-directed therapy has uh, been based on trials that have shown preliminary efficacy and preliminary safety. Uh, so for example, four trials that really come to mind are the Ultima trial, the Perfect Registry Seattle 2, and the Optolyze trial. Each one of these trials enrolled between 50 and 150 patients, so overall relatively small numbers of patients. So getting a real point estimate around safety is not possible because the N is quite small. The other aspect to these trials is that they looked at the RV to LV ratio which as a surrogate endpoint for efficacy. Now the RV to LV ratio has been validated as being correlative with poor short-term outcomes, but it's not enough at this point. Um, I think for us to move the field forward, to really uh, help understand whether catheter-directed therapy should be routinely used for submassive PE, we need clinical data. So short-term clinical data would include clinical deterioration, death, recurrent VTE, recurrent hospitalization. Longer term, we're looking at things like quality of life, exercise tolerance, breathlessness. Are people able to return to their daily activities that were present before the PE happened? Because it's very clear that many more people are affected after their PE than, than previously realized. So CDT's ability to both affect the short term and the long term needs to be much better characterized than it has been so far. Submassive PE is a difficult disease to study because the mortality rate from submassive PE when you uh, initiate prompt anticoagulation is very, really quite low. Uh, so powering a trial based on um, mortality alone for submassive PE would take a very, very large number of subjects and it's probably impractical as well and may not be the most important endpoint as well, although mortality is clearly very important, a lot more people are affected in the long term. Their cardiopulmonary health is affected both from an exercise tolerance standpoint and from a quality of life standpoint. So really what, what we're trying to do, almost in sequence with the ATTRACT trial and the C-TRACT trial, is design a new trial called the P-TRACT trial, P-E-TRACT, which is randomizing patients to either receive catheter-directed therapy plus anticoagulation or anticoagulation alone. And so this is the trial that we hope to comprehensively assess CDT's performance when it comes to cardiopulmonary health, both in the short term and the long term. So I think that I would, my message to interventionalists, whether they be interventional radiologists, interventional cardiologists, or vascular surgeons, is to be very uh, scientific in their approach towards where we are with the data. And when we're discussing catheter-based therapy with potential patients, that, uh, that we acknowledge that there's a data gap and that more data needs to be gathered. And so I would ask them to join me in that uh, practice-changing trial which will help us determine whether we should routinely be using CDT for submassive PE.